Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to the Fintech Monthly for February 2016. Our sponsor, Rag Lawrence Graham & Co, has combined with Canadian law firm Gowlings to form Gowling WLG, and we're filming from their London office today. Now let's take a look at this month's top Fintech news. London-based money transfer service World Remit landed $45 million in funding. Investors in the round included Triple Point Venture Growth BDC Corp and Silicon Valley Bank. The company, which has now raised $192.7 million to date, enables people to send money overseas using their smartphones. Financial services consultancy Beauville published research revealing the past two years has seen a sharp rise in the number of e-money providers registered with the Financial Conduct Authority. There are now 79 authorised e-money providers in the UK, which is more than double the number authorised in 2013. This month also saw the UK Government launch Fintech Week, a programme of events focused around financial technology. Fintech Week's lineup includes events hosted by Innovate Finance, Lloyds Banking Group, Texity UK and HM Treasury. It aims to celebrate the nation's status as a leading global fintech hub, plus generate discussion around what more can be done to support financial technology in the UK. I asked Richard Gould of Gowling WLG, what exactly is it that makes the UK such a great place for fintech companies to flourish? I think it's brilliant that the government's supporting fintech and fintech week is a fantastic initiative. But the reality is that the whole of the fintech ecosystem is now maturing and becoming a gigantic self-help group really. And that's one of the things that is unique about London. It's got the right mix. The companies, the startups, the number of entrepreneurs coming into the ecosystem, but the VCs that are coming in now as well. The capital is being supplied, not just by general VCs, but by quite specific VCs like Illuminate Financial, who are focusing just on capital markets, for example. So the whole ecosystem is now maturing and looking much more like a US-style tech ecosystem. JP Morgan Chase & Co is testing the use of blockchain technology in US dollar transfers between London and Tokyo. The bank wants to see whether the technology, which underpins cryptocurrency Bitcoin, can be successfully used in currency clearing and settlement, giving clients faster turnaround times. Over in Australia, consumer fintech firm MoneyMe announced a $30 million capital raise. The company said it will use the funds to launch a series of niche Australian-first financial products for the millennial market. The $30 million raise follows a $1 million VC injection in 2013 and is expected to be the first of three capital raises completed by the company during 2016 and 2017. That's it for this episode of Fintech Monthly. For more Fintech news, visit techcitynews.com and for more of our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.